So, I've seen this thought on the internet a couple of times actually. Think about it. What makes humans saw this and thought, Damn, that looks delicious. Let's farm them. When we think about what humans thought of back then, it's quite intriguing, doesn't it? Currently, even though we farm it from other animals too, milks are mostly associated with cattle. So, while we're at it, since I'm a zoologist, let me talk about the animal first. And here's the question. What exactly is cattle? Cattles came from domesticated aurochs in the Fertile Crescent more than 10,000 years ago. That's only the first domestication. Another distinct domestication happened in the Indus Valley around 1,500 years later. The first domestication led to the common cattle, Bos Taurus, while the other led to the Zebu, Bos Indicus. These are also known as the Taurine and the Indusine cattle. Some place the taurine and the indicine in one species, separating them into two subspecies, which are Bostaurus taurus and Bostaurus indicus. We're currently not sure about which classification is correct, so just stick to one version for now, whichever you like. Alright, let's get back to the domestication. So, there are some that propose the third occurrence of domestication, which is in the northeast Africa, leading to the Sangha cattle. Recent researches had shown that this might not be correct, and the Sangha cattle are most likely the product of admixture or introgression. So, Sangha cattle might not be a distinct taxon, but at least, they are their own group of breeds. Not only for the Sangha cattle, various recent breeds also show evidence of genes from different sources of population. Just like the other domestic animals, Modern breeds of cattle could be grouped into several regions based on their origin. Even so, each of these breeds show the admixture of genes from different regions. This might contribute to the variety of characteristics for the cattle breeds. Just like sheep, there are over a thousand breeds of cattle. Some are hybrids between different species. For example, the beef follow from the U.S. is a hybrid between the taurine and bison. The Madura cattle from Indonesia is most likely a hybrid between zebu and banteng. The dwarf lulu from Nepal have some genes from yak, while the salembu from Malaysia is a hybrid between zebu and gaur. Cattles are mainly farmed for three things, meat, milk, and as a draft animal. Oh, and as most of us already know, milk can also be processed into many products. There is cream, butter, cheese, yogurt, custard, and so on, you name it. Other cattle products are used too, such as their hide for leather, pancreas for insulin, connective tissues for gelatin, and many more. Hey, since we're talking about cattle products, let's talk about milk, shall we? So. If you have noticed from other mammals, including humans of course, lactation normally happens after giving birth, and so does cow. Selective breeding had prolonged the time of cow's lactation, but still, they need to be impregnated first. Normally, dairy cows are impregnated by artificial insemination. Cow's milk production had been increasing rapidly in recent years, at least in the US and Canada. Even so, as with the trend in other domestic animals, this led to the lower production year per individual, where a dairy cow usually considered to be productive for 5 to 6 years before they stop producing milk. After that, they are called for consumption. As for the question of why do we even start milking and consuming milk from animals, unfortunately, we still don't know the answer. Analysis on lipid residue on archaeological potteries from northwestern Anatolia had shown a direct link between cattle herding and the prevalence of milk used by the 7th millennium BC. So, at least we know that milk production had been prevalent quite early since their domestication. Adult animals don't normally drink milks, let alone other animals' milk. 
over time they lose lactase, which is the enzyme used to break down lactose. Which is why, lactose intolerance is not a disorder or a disease. It's actually the normal state. In fact, humans evolved lactase persistence way later than when we start drinking milk. That means, humans were consuming milk while basically being lactose intolerant. Imagine that. So, as you know, milk can be processed into many things. And what you might not know is, processing milk into other products could reduce the lactose concentration, which makes it easier to be consumed by us. The evidence for cheese making had been found dating back to the 6th millennium BC. So yeah, that's why milk production had been prevalent for so long, even though it's not easy for us to consume milk. Lactase persistent is strongly selected in the European, African, Middle Eastern, and the Southern Asian population, which are where dairy consumption is prevalent. Research in 2022 had proposed that Famine and disease might have an impact to the selection of lactase prevalence in Europe. Basically, those who are not lactase prevalent got a significant disadvantage and, well, got wiped out during the period of famine and pestilence. That's why it seems to be so prevalent in European. And so, there you go. Cattles are actually more diverse than what we might think. Not only did we change cattle through domestication, cattle actually changed us too, especially regarding milk. We had been consuming milk for so long, and we had been searching for the answer why, but unfortunately, we still don't know why. For now, let's just learn what is known. And that's all for now.